Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on September 27th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to a quick video here about our magnetic field. Some information that NASA is sharing freely across the world about our migrating poles, north and south. And it's evident across the globe that we are seeing some dramatic changes. Even here, looking at the total precipitate water across the world, this equatorial band has stretched out. And equatorial moisture is being thrown towards the North and the South Pole. As we're seeing increased nuclearization of our clouds and strategic aerosol injections across the world. We are truly living in some dramatic times and quite possibly in a time where our planet is going to do a magnetic flip, a pole flip, in which all suns, planets, everything does over time. North becomes south and south becomes north. Now NASA just released recently these projection models on how far and how fast our true magnetic north is moving. You can see there over Canada right up until 2001 and then it has dramatically shifted over to Russia in the past 20 years on a very fast movement. A lot of other channels have been documenting it and of course, our scientists, astrophysicists, and NASA are definitely documenting it and studying it. Look how far the South Pole has moved as well. But what is most dramatic is the North Pole and how far and how fast it is moving towards Russia. And it kind of makes you wonder could we be on the verge as these poles are being pulled towards each other? Pulled and pushed and smashed by our magnetosphere. Magnetic poles are defined in different ways. They are commonly understood as positions on the Earth's surface where the geomagnetic field exists. Long understood that dip poles migrate over time These are observed north dip poles during 19 or sorry 1831 and 2007 modeled pole locations from 1590 to 2020 are circles progressing from blue to yellow so this is all free information on the internet i encourage everybody to do their own research but we are seeing a dramatic shift in our magnetic field and I've been document documenting it now for four years on my channel. And when I see these great changes developing in our upper level atmosphere and as well surface, it really makes me believe that we are on the verge of the magnetic reversal. These are current wind models for the next seven days over Russia. And this is that low pressure system I've been documenting throughout the last couple of weeks. It's been spinning around the North Pole, gaining strength. And in the long-range forecast here, Saturday, October 2nd and into 3rd, it is going to be a vicious and very large storm for Alaska and parts of northern BC. So heads up, my Canadian friends and as well my American friends up in Alaska, friends and family around the world, we are seeing this dramatic shift happen now and i do believe that we are on the verge of the magnetic reversal these systems are not breaking down they're getting bigger and stronger throughout throughout time now and we're seeing millions of people displaced due to natural disasters and this was all 
set and thought to increase as we get even closer to a magnetic reversal. Now, could that be brought on quite possibly by the sun? That is my correlation. I do believe it is, and it has everything to do with our sun. Please follow along with daily events worldwide. And I encourage you to see these changes unfold before your eyes as well. Because for four years, I've been documenting it on YouTube. But for 25 to 30 years, I've been seeing these events increase. These are all sources available. They're all linked below here. This is null school. Now, this is something I wanted to share with you folks. These are the wind models for right now. We're going to be observing the North Pole here. Don't mind the discombobulation of our, of our topography here, but I wanted to show you where our new North Pole is. And you can see it. It's been going... There's been a huge low-pressure system through the North Pole, following around the pole, gaining strength. But yet our coldest temperatures are over Greenland. And they're talking about all of the ice melt over Greenland. Well, yeah, because our new North Pole has moved more westward. Here's a for instance. This is 2021. Last year at this time, 2020, we are seeing these colder temperatures and as well, colder temperatures from aloft being squeezed and pushed to the surface. I do believe that we are on the verge of the grand solar minimum and quite possibly a magnetic reversal at the same time. But we definitely are going to have a new North Pole and a lot is going to change. So heads up, friends and family around the world, please share this, this video with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. But watch out for this beast of a system that's going to be heading down into BC and Alaska. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. <laughs>